We're gonna be out here busting it out. This is where our main event is. Are you ready? Let's go. And I can't believe it. It's exciting. Well, I made a mistake. I should have two little nuts and I only have one. This will actually be the pipe that we'll use to put the main electrical wires that will go to the house. I think he likes it. I hope so. This is your new house, dude. This is your new home. The GDP Bowl. Here we are. <sighs> <sighs> Unnecessary roughness. <laughs> Loss of 20 yards. I don't suppose you recorded anything of what you're doing out here. No. <laughs> oh, look at this. So can you talk a little bit about what you have been doing out here? Um, doing a lot of cleanup. We had a greenhouse over here that was made of plastic. And I think it only lasted like a season. The wind tore it up and the sun broke it down into a million pieces and uh, all the pieces were just kind of sitting out here. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but that's probably one of our first big lessons of building for this climate, am I right? Yeah. And it's just kind of been a subtle reminder of uh, one of the first fails out here, right? <laughs> yes. Just always kind of in the background, always kind of reminding us of just kind of how we need to build things out here, right? I want to show you this. So we had this complete mess out here. If you've been watching our videos for a while, you've probably seen the mess of a greenhouse in the background in various videos. But Jess has got this looking great already. And she's taking care of this completely. Look at the organization. Let me tell you, when this woman sets her mind on something, there is nothing she can't accomplish. But look over here, you can still see the skeleton of the old greenhouse. Dang, the wind chewed that up pretty bad, didn't it? So just a little spring cleanup, even though it's not quite spring yet, huh? It feels like spring. It feels like spring, doesn't it? <laughs> it is nice and sunny and warm out. So a perfect time to get things organized, get things cleaned up, and we can start to build fresh and renewed. Hello. Keeping an eye on me? Crew, you keeping an eye on me? Well, I made a mistake. I got too eager with the barbed wire. I wanted to get the barbed wire done, but I should have put some cleats in here beforehand. But that's okay, I can still get the cleats in. I'm just gonna have to pull back the barbed wire here, get the cleat on, then put the barbed wire back. Probably nail it in place. I can do this, I don't need Jess's help. Success! This is the pile where I was trying to get dirt for the cob mix. And there's just way too many rocks and gravel in here. And it ended up not being very sticky. But I think this will be decent for the bags. But I want to try and get these couple small piles cleared away. Because I think we're going to need a water delivery soon. Just adjusted the compass. It's always one thing I seem to forget until the last minute. Now we should be good to go. Got bags, got dirt. I think we got almost everything, except Jess. I need to get Jess yet. <laughs> Jess is out here, she's got the last of the tools. I'm always forgetting something. All right, so here we go. Course number five. Course number five, I can't believe it. It's exciting. Just keep an eye out. You don't have to be looking for it, but just kind of keep an eye. I think I'm missing another little nut. I should have two. I should have two little nuts and I only have one. Da 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 Is that how the Super Bowl music goes? That's exactly how it goes. <laughs> Today is Super Bowl Sunday and as you could tell I know nothing about football. But we're not watching the big game. We're going to be out here busting it out. This is where our main event is. This is our Super Bowl. Are you ready? Yep. You're not even on camera. How are you going to be ready? <laughs> are you ready for our Super Bowl? Let's do it. The GDP Bowl. Here we are. <sighs> <laughs> Unnecessary roughness. <laughs> Loss of 20 yards. Ready to pass off some cans? Let's do it.
Camera or crew? Uh, take crew. Are you sure? He looks angry. Crew. Wanna take a walk? <laughs> Sit. Good boy. That's a good boy, Isha. Okay. Let's go. He just likes to go and check on it every now and then. Bird exploded. Found a different one. <laughs> Man, these courses are a doozy, eh? I mean. These bags are so big, and not only are we doing a 20 foot diameter dome here, but then the hallway as well. <laughs> Just got a Charlie horse, those are no fun. I thought a Charlie horse was a cramp. I thought it was when you smashed your elbow. In it. Okay, if you know what a Charlie horse is, leave that down below. Apparently, there's a disagreement. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys say? Charlie horse. Smashed elbow that goes numb or a cramp? Now I just kind of want to point out here, this will actually be the pipe that we'll use to put the main electrical wires that will go to the house. This is how those wires will get in. We got a one and a quarter inch pipe, which I figure should be good for running the uh, four gauge wire on into. So all we did was we just cut this barbed wire here. That way the pipe isn't sitting directly on the barbs of the wire. And then eventually maybe those barbs will dig into the pipe and then cut into the wire. So we just kind of cut them, bent the barbed wire back, and the pipe just sits comfortably on the bags going into the house. But this course is a special one because, of course, I put in the pipe where we'll, I'll be running the electricity through for the house, the main electricity. It's a one and a quarter inch PVC conduit. I'm thinking there'll be four gauge wires. I'll be running about 60 amps going from the shed to the house. And I know 60 amps isn't your typical amount of electricity for a house. I think it'll be enough for what we need. I mean, our trailer has a 30 amp service. It can only handle 30 amps. Yeah, and that's been fine for us for years now. And so this will actually be double the electricity output. The trailer has much more inefficient appliances like the refrigerator. So we're going to be getting more energy efficient appliances for this house. So it'll be nice to have like a regular size refrigerator that uses less energy. And I think the biggest draws that we'll have in this house are probably the water pump but it'll be the same water pump as we use in the RV and maybe for the hot water heater. I think generally we try to be more conservative with our energy use anyway. And really we're looking to eventually keep developing methods to reduce our energy needs. We would actually like to be less dependent on electricity 
than expand the solar. Yeah, just a simpler life. It's gonna be a little work getting all the wiring to the house, but now we're ready to, to wire things in. Yeah, it means I'm gonna have to dig a trench from the shed over to the house, which is about uh, 70 feet, I think. <laughs> More digging. Yeah! <laughs> Jess is out here, now the real work can begin. How was that game last night? Oh, it was really exciting. Woo! Congratulations to the team for winning. <laughs> that was excellent ball passing. And all the scoring. The scoring that happened? And did you see that home run? Whoa, yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> How many free throw shots were there? I think there were all of them, weren't they? Yeah. And I think that could be the uh, one of the big differences between your continuous tubes and your single bags. As with the continuous tubes, you don't have to worry about smashing uh, the sides together and making sure they interlock. Of course, with the single bags, yeah, that's an issue. And it could be kind of an issue as we get higher. Square bags in a round space. There's more space on the outside than the inside is like tighter together. Yeah. Your inside edges will be tighter, outside edges will be looser. He always loves exploring the new house. Always got to, whatever changes, he's got to explore. Checking our work. I think he likes it. Mm -hmm. I hope so. This is your new house, Drew. This is your new home. <laughs> hey, you can still see mommy. Look at him. Jess is waiting for Jess. She's on her way. She's on her way. Just waiting for Jess. Go! Oh! <laughs> okay, I guess I deserve that. <laughs> you can tell she's excited. We just completed course number five. How does it feel? Good. Yeah. But of course, our football joke earlier, I mean, Jess and I know about the football. A big congratulations to the Jefferson Town Jackalopes for winning the Super Bowl, right? <laughs> and a big shout out to Ballsy McSport Base for leading the team to victory. <laughs> Woo! We love the foosballs over here. We know about sport. <laughs> I don't miss seeing the game at all. I know it's a big thing for a lot of people, but uh, for me, I'd rather be out here working on our house, building a better life. Getting that workout, y'all. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's it for course number five. Of course, uh, we're just going to keep building up from here. So stay tuned because you got to see this dome come together. So don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss a thing. All right, we'll catch you in the next video, everyone. Bye.